This is me back in 2018. 211 pounds. I was a struggling freelance director, and my weight affected my work. During shoots, I'd get tired so quickly, and I'd even force myself not to take lunch breaks just so I don't end up falling asleep or carrying even more weight around. It came to a point that I even refused some projects because I knew beforehand how tired I was just gonna get. Outside work was even worse. I wasn't born with glass bones or paper skin, but every morning my back would hurt, and every afternoon I'd take useless naps. At night, I'd grab food from the fridge and lie awake till the food in my stomach puts me to sleep. But I wasn't always like that. I used to weigh 140 pounds, had a killer smile, bodaciously bombastic, and most importantly, smoking beautiful. <clears throat> and that's why I'm making this. The past two years taught me something important, that there's so much more to gain from losing. This is my road to 140. It was January 2019, and I got fed up. Fed up with my weight, my laziness, and most especially, my health. So I got off my ass and worked out for the next three months. I tried lifting some weights, doing some jump rope, some basic routines. I exercised once or twice a week, but at the time I thought I was putting more effort into it. The truth was I was kind of half-assing the whole thing. I ended up only losing about five pounds in the span of three months. I guess it didn't help that my eating habits were as follows. Breakfast, second breakfast, elevenses, luncheon, afternoon tea, dinner, and supper. I ate at least six times a day. And I almost gave up. Until the most life-changing decision in every young man's life finally came knocking at my door. Smile, guys! It's Friday, and you know what Friday means? Overtime! Ah! Ah! <laughs> April of that year, I was offered a job at Southside Studios, a production house located in Philinvest, Montelupa City. And bear in mind, at this time, I was living in Carmona, Cavite. My childhood friend, Miguel, who owned the company, was also renting a house a few minutes away from the office, and he had another room available. So after much deliberation with myself, I accepted the job, bid goodbye to mom and dad, and moved to Mutanlupa. I thought to myself, maybe now is the time to try again. I have a new home, a new job, and now a new goal. After I got settled, I found a gym that was just walking distance from my place. It was called Ringside. I signed up without a second thought, and this is where things really took a turn for the better. My routine was mainly Muay Thai. The feeling of punching and kicking the bag was just something else. I gymmed hard, four, even five times a week. And not just talking hard like swing at the bag and build up a sweat kind of hard. I took this shit seriously. I watched a ton of martial arts and workout videos on YouTube to keep myself motivated. Now, I wasn't just doing this anymore to lose weight. I wanted to get better at it. I practiced proper form, how to punch, how to kick, spin kicks, jumping kicks. Every gym session was different, and something new was always to be learned. I most especially stopped eating six times a day. I counted my calories, drank black coffee, and avoided fast food as much as possible. Most important of all was the mental aspect of this. I had to tell myself that this was going to be a long process, a marathon, not a race. I knew that if I wasn't happy or at least having fun with what I was doing, I was gonna quit. What? <laughs> <laughs> month after month, I was dropping pounds like anything. Three pounds, four pounds, five pounds. I pushed myself, and I was determined to go even further beyond. As I saw the numbers going down, my drive to do more grew. Something in the back of my mind was telling me that I can do more. My body and my mind are capable of doing this. I then decided to take it up a notch and challenge myself. Muay Thai just wasn't enough. It was November 2019, and my new goal was to do 10 pull-ups. 
I couldn't do a single pull-up, not without assisted bands at least. But every day I grinded and did everything I could to increase my strength. Next thing I knew, I finally did it. I did my first clean pull-up. By November 2020, I weighed in at 161 pounds. I lost 50 pounds. And that's the sad part about this story. I never reached my goal of 140. But I realized something. I had gained so much more from losing all that weight. Because of all the exercise and proper eating habits, my mood was generally a lot better. It was only now that I realized that those past two years, I didn't know how much fun I was having just being the best me that I could be. Yo, listen up, this is a story about a guy cooking bacon in a kitchen and he's not blue. I just want everyone to know that I, being an employee of Southside Studios, am such a hard worker that, look, even my boss is hard work at playing video games. I've realized that I am capable of achieving my goals. I am capable of changing myself for the better. By sheer determination, it is possible. My journey was so much more than just losing weight. It was more than just being physically healthy. Check it out, I can do the thing. It was about feeling healthy, being bombastic, being happy with yourself, <laughs> being proud of yourself. Yes! I felt that. <laughs> I feel it in my heart and in my mind. What does it say? Uh, one six one point one. Nice.